Every image you're about to see was crafted from just a few simple text prompts, all thanks to the power of Leonardo AI. Amazing, isn't it? Like other top-tier tools such as Midjourney, Leonardo AI offers a range of trained models. All within a user-friendly interface, it's a phenomenal AI image generator, perfect for artists, designers, developers, and beyond. In this video, I'll guide you through creating stunning images using Leonardo AI's text-to-image and image-to-image -image features. First of all, create a new account. The link is in the description of this video, or log in to your existing account, and access your dashboard at the top. You'll find trained models ready to generate images. Each model comes with an explanation highlighting which is best for certain subjects. Click on any model to explore images it has generated. Scroll down to discover a vast gallery of stunning images generated by Leonardo AI. Clicking on any image will open a page with details like the prompt used and the model applied. You can even copy the prompt to create a new image yourself. Even with a free plan, Leonardo AI provides ample credits for generating images, replenished every 24 hours. Clicking on AI Image Generation takes you to the Image Generation section, where you can view the images I've previously created at the top of the page. There's a text box for entering prompts, and just below it, a drop-down list to select the model based on your prompt. For example, I'll paste the prompt I prepared earlier into the text box. Next, I will turn on the Legacy Mode button, and I'll select the Dream Shaper V7 model from the drop-down list. It's one of the latest models available in the Number of Images section. I'll decide how many images I want to generate at once, a bit further down. In the Image Dimensions section, you can set the image size by selecting from preset dimensions or manually adjusting them using sliders. Additionally, there's an option to control the aspect ratio from a drop-down list afterward. I'll click the Generate button to see the results from this prompt, the images are generated, and by clicking on any of them, we can review them in detail. Now, let's switch the generating model for the same prompt and see how the results vary with a different model for this. I'll select the 3D animation style option from the F-Tune model drop-down list, and now I'll hit Generate. Let's review the images. After clicking the Remove Background button in the drop-down list, a new option becomes available in this mode. You can view both the original image and the background removed version, giving you easy access to both. This button also offers the option to upscale the image. After clicking, a new option will appear in the drop-down menu, allowing us to view the upscaled version of the image. You can also access the version with the background removed right here. By using the Download button, you can obtain the generated images for free. Let's take a look at the downloaded version as well. Choosing a similar image can help you achieve a better result. If you prefer not to use a community image, navigate to the dashboard, scroll down to User Tools, and click on Image Generation. This will lead you to the same tab. For more precise results, I recommend using a community image. Next, decide how many images you want to generate. Keep in mind that generating more images will require more coins. I will set it at 4. Leonardo AI offers tools like the Photoreal and Alchemy models to help you achieve superior results. There is also a public images option that makes your generated images visible to the public in the Community Generations tab. To disable this, you will need a paid plan. Then, select the image dimensions, which is a straightforward process. Simply choose the size of the image you want to create. Lastly, there are advanced options where you can adjust the aspect ratio of your image. Here is the prompt bar where we will enter our detailed prompt to guide the AI in creating the image. I'll paste my prompt here shortly. First, we need to upload the original image so the AI knows our reference point for creating a similar image. Click on Image Guidance, then upload the image. Select and upload the image you want. I will upload the previously downloaded image, and as you can see, it was successfully uploaded. We have two options here. The first is the type of generation we want, which I will leave as image to image. Now we come to the most critical parameter of the generation, the strength. Strength determines how closely the new generation will resemble the reference image. The higher the strength, the more it will resemble the uploaded image. The lower the strength, the more freedom and creativity the AI has, making it less like the reference image. We will create a generation with high strength and then one with lower strength to see the difference it makes in the final result. Let's create our first generation. For this one, I will set the strength high to focus on the changes I want in the picture. 
Click on Generate to view all of my generations. Click on Generation History. Here are the generated images. They don't perfectly match our prompt because we set the strength high, so it focused on resemblance rather than creativity. This prevented the AI from altering the background and overall theme of the image as requested. Now, let me show you what happens when I lower the strength. We will adjust the strength and click on Generate. Look at those images, they are incredible, almost exactly what I had envisioned. Remember, when working with an image generator, the first attempt might not always give you the perfect result. You may need to adjust the settings and experiment with the prompts several times to get exactly what you're looking for. Can Leonardo AI help with logo creation? Absolutely. Let's dive into an example. I'll input a logo design prompt into the text box. I've selected the DreamShaper V7 model for fine tuning. Now I'll hit the generate button. The results are in and we have some fantastic logo ideas here. Let me enter another logo design prompt into the text box. This prompt will produce a variety of logos for selection. Let's check the outcome. By applying this technique and experimenting with different prompts, you can gather an array of innovative logo design ideas from Leonardo AI across various professional domains. Let's explore Leonardo AI's ability to create detailed logos with another example. I'll input a new prompt in the text box, selecting DreamShaper V7 from the fine-tuned model dropdown. I'll set the image count to 2, choose 1024 by 768 as the dimensions, and select a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Now I'll click Generate and we'll review the logos together. I'll now hit the Generate button. Let's evaluate the logos together. Would you agree that with these visuals, Leonardo AI functions as both an assistant and an inspiration in logo design? Remember to hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel to get notified when I upload the latest videos.